smear. A procedure in which a small brush or spatula is used to gently remove cells from the cervix so they can be checked under a microscope for cervical cancer or cell changes that may lead to cervical cancer. A pap smear may also help find other conditions such as infections or inflammation. It is sometimes done at the same time as a pelvic exam and may also be done at the same time as a test for certain types of human papilloma virus, also called pap test and papanicola test. Specimen collection, pap solution vial, plastic spatula and endocervical brush are used for collection. Step 1. Rotate collection device in pressure cyst while 10 times while pushing against the vial wall. Step 2. Swirl brush to further release material. Step 3. Discard collection device. And Step 4. Label vial with patient's name, date of birth, date of collection and ordering physician's name. Procedure of Papanicola stain. For Papanicola stain, you need some reagents like hematoxylin, eosin, orange green and distilled water and also you need different concentrations of alcohols. Place the drop of sample on slide and make it smear. Place the smear into 95% alcohol for 15 to 30 minutes. Next, place the smear into 80% alcohol for 12 minutes. Next, 60% alcohol for 2 minutes. After that, distilled water 5 dips. And again, distilled water 5 dips. Place the hematoxylin on slide for 3 minutes. And next, put the smear into distilled water for 3 minutes. And next, gradually increase the concentration of alcohols while following the time 2 minutes. And next, put the slide into orange green. For 3 minutes, put the slide into 95% alcohol for 2 minutes. And next, also same procedure 95% alcohol 2 minutes. And add using a juice stain for 3 minutes. And next, 95% alcohol for 2 minutes. Repeat this for 4 times. Take that slide and put it into absolute alcohol for 2 minutes. And repeat this for 3 times. Next, Absolute alcohol plus xylene, 1 is to 1 ratio for 2 minutes. Repeat xylene for 3 times again. Finally, mount in DPX. And take that slide and put it under microscope. And observe it. Nuclei appears in blue color. Acidophilic cells in red color. Basophilic cells blue green. Erythrocytes orange red. Keratin orange red superficial cells pink intermediate and parabasal cells blue green eosinophil orange red candida red trichomonas gray green advantages and disadvantages by exfoliative cytology first advantages non-invasive and painless minimal skills patient compliance cost effective performed in large numbers Minimal instruments, early diagnosis of lesions can be used in patients with systemic disorders where biopsy is contraindicated, easily done at the chair side. And disadvantages, false negative results, only an adjuvant, contamination, low sensitivity, inadequate sampling, non-usable and non- Epithelial lesions.